This is where we camped last night. Got a few more caravans in the field and some folks slept in their cars. Bye, we're off place to sleep. Um, so we're in Dunnett just now. Almost at the most normal point in the UK. So um, I'm going to go and see everyone, get some breakfast, get a coffee, and then, aye, make our plans. So let's go. Just giving Nala a wee walk, but we've got to be careful because there's a cat that lives here called Ninja, and he's the hardest cat in the north of Scotland. So we've got to be very careful for her, making sure she doesn't get a battering. I've just seen Ninja coming out around the house here, so you are going back into hiding. Yes, because you're not getting in a fight. Not with a street cat. No, because you'll lose. You will, you'll lose. Come on in, let's get in. You getting comfy? Yup, oh, oh, oh yes. Good girl. Right guys, that's us just ready to shoot off. Said most of our goodbyes. We're actually going to see some of them again because they live on the west coast of Scotland. Um, we're going to go kayaking with them and they're going to try and take us out to see some dolphins because one of them has a boat. So, are you ready now? So our plans today, we're going to head to John O'Groats, that's the uh, most northern easterly part of Scotland. Um, and then we're going to go to Dunnett Head as well and that's the most northern point off the UK and then we're just going to head on. It's actually a pretty crap day, it's pretty windy and it's raining. So I don't actually know too much what we'll be doing, eh? Don't want you getting wet. No, we don't. At least we're in the van staying dry, so let's go. Hello! Oh my gosh, hello! Hello! <laughs> hello! Oh my gosh! I've been following you for so long. Have you? Oh my gosh, I've got to have a picture. Yeah, I've no bother. Too. I'm feeling good. A lot fresher after last night. Yeah. I needed a good sleep like. So we had a power cut last night with Becca Sane. Aye, aye, Nash's head. Hey, you coming? Come here. Oh, come hey, see you. Hey, Reggie. Hey, you saying thank you. Hey, darling. Aye, I was saying hopefully I'll be back in a few years, so I'll come up for well, the next party. Save you some rhubarb wine. Aye, save some rhubarb wine, definitely. <laughs> Not a comic strip. Aye, aye. I've not had a look at it yet. Oh, brilliant. Is it? Yeah. Really well She's brilliant like what she does, oh, so she just draws the comic little, little of whatever happens. Right? As well as she puts in it. it's funny. And she does some good humour as well in it. Yeah, so. definitely. Aye, well, thank you very much, and hopefully I'll see you in a few years' time. Well, you're more than welcome. Excellent. Cheers now, guys. Thank you for everything. You ready, girl? Are you going to sit down? Yeah. That's us just arrived up at Dunnet Head and um, this is the most northerly point of mainland Britain. Blowing a gale outside, it's pretty miserable so I think I'm just going to leave now, I'm just in the van. Um, there's a lighthouse just here, I'm just going to go and have a wee walk around this yet but aye. It's not the nicest of days guys so it's probably best just keeping Nala here because I don't want her getting wet do we? No we don't. Anyway, let's go and see this lighthouse. Nice and 
a warm day. Done it head, the most normally point of great land on it. Yeah, back in the back of the boat because it's absolutely freezing. Let's go. So there we sheds along with that slipway was built away back in 1830. It was used to get materials for the construction of the lighthouse because obviously the cliffs to there would be too steep to get stuff up. And so they built this wee slipway here along with a wee road up there. It would have been taken up in horse-drawn carriages. Nowadays it's just a wee pier for the local fishermen. And it's also a wee spot the seals like to sit on. You've got three down there. And then there's one just along there to the left. And I was talking to someone at the party the other day and a few years ago they seen orcas come here and they were feeding off the seals. But she says she was watching it from the top. It was just such an amazing thing to witness. I would love to see some orcas as well, like, but not today. We've just got three seals sitting down here. Oh, now, oh God, you have the right idea, girl. Yes, you do. Oh, you don't want to be out there. That is good. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Right, let's head to John O'Groats. Let's go. It's an absolute minging day outside. Rain seems to be getting heavier. If we were just on the bike, we wouldn't be cycling today, that's for sure. Starting to chuck it down. There we go guys, that's us just pulled into John O'Groats now. We've got a few shops, an ice cream shop, um, a couple of coffee shops, and a uh, wee harbour down there, so we're just gonna get Nala out, take her a wee walk, and then go in for a wee coffee. But she's just been sound asleep. I mean, she sleeps most of the day anyway, but I'm going to take her out a wee walk just now and see what John O'Groats is all about. So let's go. You coming? Yes, you know the lead's a walk now. Oh, big stretch. Come on then. <whistles> Clip me up. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Come on then, let's go. We bit like we were breezy. There we go, New York, 3,230 miles. Land's End, 1874. Edinburgh, 273. Hello there. I think this is the dog is round, but you might not. You might get away with it. Oh, look at you. Hey. Hello. Sure, yeah. Hello. You stay in your bag, then he'll be jumping out. No. Hello, sweetie pie. I bet she's used to this now, though, isn't ah, she? she has. She's yeah. travelled long enough. Oh, she's a good, gorgeous. I've seen lots of pictures. No, yeah, I have. She's lovely, isn't she? Yeah, she's in a loop. <laughs> There we go, so for lunch today, a wee bit of tomato and pepper soup. Beautiful. Now it's just sitting here. Are you going to kiss me? Yes. Yes. Hey! 
Excuse me. Good go. Row. Row. There we go, fed, watered, and had a wee walk around John O'Groats. So our next plans are we're going to head towards Furso. So that's our 32 minute drive. I'm going to strap her in and then let's get going. Let's go. So this is where we're going to camp tonight. Just jump out. Show you is. Oh, it's just a wee lay by. Got a beautiful view over there. Some cows there. And then a wee five minute drive back there. There's a wee parking spot and you can go down to Puffin Cove. So we might go there for a wee walk in the morning. Usually every time you come to the wee parking bays. Food so rubbish, but I've got loads of bags in the car so we'll get a wee clean after. But I now I'm still sound asleep in the front. Oh, look, she's up. Hey, girl. Where are you? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, so I we're going to get set up here for the night. I'm just going to get the van ready, pop the roof up, get Nala food and water, then take her a wee walk. I hate the smell of tuna I hate the smell of tuna Give me a second Oh, it touched my finger Oh, no and The worst it is, she has this and she just comes over and starts kissing your nose afterwards Like, get your stinking mouth away from me Here go girl Dinner time Right guys, we're going to end this video here. Absolutely gorgeous place we found to camp. And um, look at that for scenery. Just absolutely beautiful. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you all in the next one. Good jump. There we go, we carry some bin bags in the van and just wherever we camp up. Uh, we always try and just clean up the area because there's always rubbish. Takes two minutes guys. Just take your shite home. Because we need to look after this planet, so take it home. Oops a daisy. Nala's leading the way. I've trained her how to sniff out plastic.